Hi guys, this is Text Class, and I'm going to show you how to build a simple site using Bootstrap and Coder. So you can access this web page on your local network. Uh, I say local network, and I want to stress that because this will not uh, be able to be accessible through um, your internet connection elsewhere. So you will not be able to sign into a, sign on to a Starbucks Wi-Fi and access this page. It is strictly local. So, with that in mind, what is Coder? Coder is this new program Google released recently. It basically turns your little Raspberry Pi computer into a web server that you can then make your own websites and applications on it and uh, share them and download other ones from the web. Um, currently, I'm not sure what's going on with it. Um, and why, what I mean by that is there's not a whole lot of documentation yet. It's still very new when I record this. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, download Coder. Add that to your Raspberry Pi using a method um, you should know by now if you're new. If you're new, you can always check out the Raspberry Pi wiki, and it's really easy to do that. So uh, let's get started. So here's the site that I want to recreate on my Coder using Bootstrap CSS and my own custom HTML, which is what you see here. Um, for those of you who don't know what Bootstrap is, I should just mention this now. It is a simple way to build a website without needing to worry about all the CSS. Um, it's very it's responsive, so it will always uh, format very always format to the way your web browser looks, and that includes on mobile. So what you see here is what someone would see on mobile as well, just smaller and more compact. Anyway, back to Coder. So here's Coder. I've renamed mine Pi Coder because it sounded interesting. Anyway, so create a new app. Call it uh, CC, for instance, for a companion cloud. Give it a color and hit create. All right. Now, already they've given you a bit of a HTML. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this div class they put in here. And then go into your HTML file that you built using Bootstrap. So here's mine, the index file. I'm going to copy all this out. Go into here and paste it in. All right. Save that, go into your CSS, get rid of what they have, find your bootstrap.css file, open it up using whatever text editor or uh, in my case Sublime Text 2. You're going to want to copy all this out, go back into Coder and uh, paste it in and then click save. Now, if you take a quick look at your site using the eyeball, you can see that it comes pretty close to what we want. That's what we want. This is what we got. You can see there's a missing image. We'll deal with that in a second. But I'll just show you something. Um, if we take away all the CSS and save it, you can see that it goes back to a static HTML, which looks OK. But um, if you're using Bootstrap and if you're new to web development, you probably should because it makes oh, things a lot easier. Um, just go ahead and re-add that CSS and save and it'll go right back to normal. All right, so let's fix that image. We'll go into our HTML, find the image locate, there, there it is. This is the image SRC. We're gonna delete uh, the location path that was there. Go up to our folder, add media. We're gonna go find that image I want, which is the logo.png. And we're gonna click paste to code. And now that file is added to the code. Now I'll save that. And look at that. There's our image, just as the one we have locally. Great. Now, Bootstrap also uses a lot of JavaScript. And as you can see, the Le JavaScript is at the bottom of the page. So um, this, just having .assets forward slash Java jQuery will not work. You need to actually re-add all these JavaScripts. So first, highlight the path, delete it, just like we do with the image. Go into your folder, go into your media, sorry. And now we're going to hunt down that JavaScript, which is right here. There's the one I just deleted. Open that up and paste it in. And we're going to do the same thing for assets. So that was transition. There it is. Open it up. Paste it in. Now you're going to keep doing this for the rest of your code that you have down here. Then once that's done, save that. Go into your JavaScript and just delete that. 
I doubt you'll need it. If you, you find out you do need it, which I can't really test, I don't have any JavaScript running on this page, but you can just re-add it. It's pretty simple stuff here. We'll just do Command Z. Okay, well, it's gone now. And that's pretty much it. So now if we go back to our Coder main page, and you can see here's our app. We click on it, and here it is, exactly as the one we have saved locally. So that's it. Um, again, this page will not be accessible outside your network, so be forewarned of that. This is simply local. Um, in terms of getting it online, uh, I have no idea how to do that, so I'm sure some nice people in the comments or someone else in the world has figured out a way to do this, um, if not now, in the future. I assume it's very simple and people are probably hitting their heads against the desk for me not knowing this. Uh, in any case, that's how you get your bootstrap page running with, running with Coder on a Raspberry Pi. Um, please leave any comments, questions, concerns in the description, I mean in the comments area, sorry. Uh, keep in mind that I am just an enthusiast, I do not do this for a living, so I will try to respond as best I can. Um, if not, I probably won't respond at all. Um, and when, that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching and all the best on your future projects.